Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we'll continue to learn about pandas. Specifically we'll be looking at how to do aggregation along with the rolling windows function. And we'll also look at how to use the expanding function. That's another windows function that behaves similarly to the rolling function. Uh, except there are some differences and we'll look at that as well. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here I've already imported the libraries. So NumPy and Pandas, we don't need the matplotlib. And for data frame, we have this data frame, which has three columns in it, A, B, and C. And the index is date time. The first item that we discussed today is a simple aggregate of sum. So aggregate and we'll look at how to get the sum. So the data frame looks like this and I'm going to go ahead and create some empty cells. So now here if we want to get the aggregate of uh, the entire data frame, uh, what we are going to try to do is first I run the rolling function so first we'll do the rolling and save it in a save the object of that in a variable x so df dot rolling and we'll set the window size to three and min periods is equal to one now we have this what we have uh, sorry what we have here is a uh, object so this is what we have and here now when we apply aggregate to this aggregate and if we specify what type of aggregation we need so let's say it's np.sum then we get this output back which is now aggregated sum of uh, the data frame and if we want to check how uh, we can do that so uh, for the column a we have two three and one as the first three uh, rows and the first is then two, so two plus three becomes five. And then the last one is six, so five plus one would be six. And so this is kind of the rolling sum that we have seen before. Uh, another point to note here is that if we change this aggregate word to just AGG, it works in the same way. So you can either use the entire word aggregate or just the short form of that. Now we can also uh, use a custom function. So if we have a uh, new function def, uh, let's say sq and what this function does is it returns the sum and then sum of squares. So, so if it returns that, now if we want to use that function in the aggregate, we can do that. So we already have the rolling object in x. So we just apply it to x and if we see aggregate and sq, now we have the, the rolling sum which is right here. Next, let's look at another way in which we can use uh, selected columns from a data frame. So here we can select just the column A and B for aggregate and then we can go ahead and apply aggregate and we can get the np.sum for just those two columns in the data frame. So we can uh, select the columns by column names and do the aggregation. So far what we have done is uh, calculated just one type of statistics which is sum. We could calculate more than one statistic at the same time. So if we use the column A again and if we do the aggregate here what we can do is specify a list of statistics that we need to be calcula calculated for that column. So example, let's say np.sum, np.mean, np.standarddeviation, np.variance, np.median. So we can get all of these calculated in just uh, one line of code right here. So. This is pretty amazing and this is kind of the entire statistical summary uh, that gives you an overview of all the descriptive statistics for that particular uh, column. Next, what uh, we can also do is get this uh, type of uh, statistics for the entire data frame 
and to do that instead of specifying a, se a separate column we can just do x dot age aggregate and here if we specify the i'm just going to use two of these so np dot sum and np dot mean so as you can see for each of the original columns a b and c we now have two columns associated with each of those column names so sum and mean for each of a b and c moving on let's look at how we can uh, use a dictionary as well in the aggregate function so let's say we want to apply different types of uh, functions to each of the columns that can be done so uh, aggregate now if we are if we are interested in applying getting the sum of the column a we would specify it like this and then if for a column b let's say we want to use the custom function that we have created so we can say lambda and here we can specify let's say y and np dot sq and here we can specify y and after this we can also use another uh, method to get the values for c again you can use a lambda function and get uh, let's say u and here we can specify np dot standard deviation if that's what we are interested in and get the value for that so when we run this uh, we got an error let's see what the error is uh, numpy has no attribute sq and that is correct uh, this should be just sq uh, that was my mistake so now as you can see each of the columns have a different statistics that were calculated by the um, uh, methods that we supplied in the dictionary next there is another variation of aggregate uh, we can use within a dictionary so we can specify a list so x dot agg and here if we specify let's say for column a we need to calculate uh, sum as well as standard deviation so we can also specify just the string provided those are supported by pandas and we know that uh, the i know that the sum and standard deviation these are definitely supported by pandas and therefore we are going to use those mean is also there and let's try variance as well so as you can see for column a and b now we have calculated different statistics uh, again in form of dictionary the difference being uh, here we specified the statistical methods as just a uh, string and we didn't have to write the entire np dot mean open and close parenthesis just specified the word string for the calculations now moving on let's look at the another window function that is there which is called expanding and it is different uh, than rolling in certain ways so if we have let's uh, look at our data frame so i'm going to get the head of this data frame df dot head now for this data frame if we add a column here which is a underscore rolling and within this particular rolling column we are going to calculate the df dot a dot rolling and the window size if we initially specify the window size as 2 and then calculate the sum of this so n uh, dot sum we'll get the sum for that i'm going to copy this and then go ahead and add another uh, column here which is expanding and uh, for this we are not going to use the rolling function we are going to use the expanding function and there is no window for this so uh, let's run this and i'll show you what i mean by that so i'm going to uh, remove this and put it here run this this works fine and now when we run this it's going to throw an error saying that expanding is got an unexpected keyword argument window so it does not have the window argument so when we run this we get the output as shown here now what expanding has done is it has calculated the sum uh, that we see here for the entire data frame without any use of window uh, so these values are not going to match in both cases because this is more like a cumulative sum 
so 2 plus 3 is 5 and then 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 8 is 14 and so on and so forth however for rolling we did have a window size of 2 and therefore we had 2 plus 3 of 5 and then we moved one row forward and went from 3 plus 1 is 4 and uh, that's what we have now expanding does have another uh, parameter we can use which is called min periods that's also present in the rolling sum if we specify that as 2 and then if we look at the output in that case what this has done is the first in the first case if there are minimum two uh, records only then it will calculate the sum so therefore we see the nan in the first one but then from the next row onwards we uh, are going to get uh, the sums that are uh, cum cumulative so there is no use of the mm, two in there but if there are nans within the data itself then this might help so that's the difference between uh, rolling and expanding to see a result of rolling that equates the expanding would be we would have to use uh, let's see if we use the length of df so the entire length of df and then we do not use this now when we run this to uh, commands we see that uh, it would take the end this large window to uh, get the value of 45 that we get in expanding so that's how these two work uh, they have different use cases so they both can be used in different situations that was it for this video i hope you learned how to use aggregation in the rolling windows and also how to use the expanding function in next video we'll look at how to use the exponential weighted mean or average uh, along with the rolling function and that's really interesting because what it does is it puts different weights on the data points closest to the uh, uh, nearest time point that you are trying to calculate and lesser weight to the older time points so uh, we'll talk about that more in the next video please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you